be bold, be different, be a rebel. Welcome to the video and today we are going to be discussing how to cop the Yeezy 500 utility blacks which are dropping on July 7th, which is Saturday, this Saturday. Um, what I have here is um, a pair of the 500 Super Moon Yellows which I copped I believe about like three weeks ago. Um, I guess I'll just show you guys real quick. It's literally the same shoe, it's just a different color. So this is the Super Moon Yellow. This is like what I would say is like a really nice dad shoe, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, if you ask me. Um, yeah, so the new one is gonna be all black, triple black, picture somewhere on the screen. And some people are even calling it Yeezy 500 Vader, which I think is pretty hype. Anything to increase demand. It's gonna be dropping for $200. Depending on where you get it, it might be a little bit more. Uh, depending on tax, shipping, and some of the uh, European sites charge like actually more than 200. There's a couple of them that charge like 240. I even saw one for 280. So just keep your eyes peeled for that when you're entering raffles because I mean 280 is a little bit too much to pay. Um, but I have I believe about 12 raffles that are like live that you guys can enter right now and most of them are online so all the links for that is going to be in the description below. And then there's a couple like online signups where if you get it, you got to go in person to pick it up. Um, I'll put those below as well. This shoe is currently on the Adidas Confirmed app. So if you're in the zone, um, I think it's New York City and maybe another zone, then you could do it there. But if you're like most people and you're not in a zone, you're going to want to enter those raffles. And also, you're going to want to get these when they actually drop on Yeezy Supply and adidas.com. First, let's talk about yeezysupply.com. They get a pretty good amount of inventory, and right now on their website, they don't have a time listed. So, I mean, there's a small chance that before Saturday, they might add a time, but probably not. Make sure that you follow Yeezy Mafia, which is gonna be like all the Yeezy news when they're dropping, any restocks, um, new colorways, all of that stuff. Adidas.com is going live at 10 a.m. and that's gonna be your best chance to cop these utility black Yeezy 500s because they're gonna have the most stock. They always have the most stock because it's their product. You need to get the splash page, which I don't believe the, uh, the splash page is just like the page that the product is gonna be on. Uh, there's, that's not live yet. So I can't provide that to you, but if you go on Twitter and follow us at Average Dude TV, I promise you when I have that URL, I will tweet that. So if you're interested, you could check it out. <laughs> if you're interested, you could check it out. Obviously, you want to cop the shoes. Now that brings us to the next question, which is that's cool that I know when the drops are, but Matt, how the hell do I actually buy these shoes? Great question. So. Basically, I am going to highly recommend that you use Google Chrome as your browser. What you could do is once you have Chrome open is if you go to the top right corner here, it'll be like all of your Gmail accounts that are linked with Chrome. And so say I'll go to this average dude, whatever one. And when you do that, it's going to it's going to pop open a new window and the top right, it's going to have the name of that account. So pretty much what you need to do is you need to open up new Windows, each one logged into a different Gmail account. I know what you're thinking, bro. I only got one Gmail account. Why do you Why do you have 18 accounts? You're going to need to make multiple Gmail accounts in order to do this, um, because Adidas.com doesn't actually track your IP address. They just kind of track it based off of, I believe, the cookies. And somehow this is this is the workaround to that is the different windows um, and the different logins have different cookies, so it works. And that's what you need to do. Uh, last time I was doing it, I think I was running like nine of them at once. And which you might think that's a lot, but there's people that are running 20, 50 at once. And part of the reason that this is important is because once you get added to the, the queue, when you go to the website, which you pretty much have to wait in order to be able to like check out, um, it's not in chronological order of like who got to the page first. It's completely random. And that's why it's really important to have like so many windows up because the time that you go onto the page, it doesn't mean anything. It's just about how many different windows you have trying to get into that site. So that's what you need to do with that. And then you're thinking probably, Matt, how do you manage that many um, like windows at once? It's really easy. If you have a Mac, you just click F3 and 
it zooms out like that and you could see like all the windows at once and you just look at it like that and if one of the windows lets you in and you're allowed to add it to the cart you'll be able to see that go in take care of that and then zoom back out and watch the other ones um, it seems like a lot of work but in reality it takes l like less than two minutes probably to make an email and it's um it's really not that much work questions about like credit cards and billing and stuff like that so as far as EasySupply.com. I don't believe that they really like cross-reference anything because personally I bought two pairs of the 350 butter on their website with the same shipping address. I did use different credit cards, but I heard of multiple people copying four pairs with the same credit card, same shipping, same name, same email, same everything. So evidently they're not cross-checking it. So maybe you could finesse a little bit. Although if you could prepare and have like other addresses and cards ready on deck, like that's always the move. And then as far as adidas.com, uh, you, sh you should be able to ship to the to like the same address, um, but you do need different cards. I'm not sure if the billing needs to be different or not, but you definitely need different cards. And probably you're gonna wanna use a different email, but considering the fact you gotta make about like 30 emails to get those 30 windows running, you're gonna have plenty of, of email addresses available for like the rest of your life. Let me just stress this, do this the night before. Make the accounts, have it prepped, have it ready to go. You don't wanna wait till the last minute. Again, all of the raffles, there's like 12 of them, which is a decent amount. All of those links are in the description below. Like literally right now, go and enter all of them. Oh, I did forget one thing. The sizes you're gonna to wanna to go for are kinda of like the typical sizes that get low stock. So I have actually a list of, of the ones I'm specifically going for. The ones I'm only going for. I'm not going for any other sizes because I think there's going to be a good, a little bit of an opportunity to make a little bit of money on this. But the Super Moon Yellow that I have right now, I can't make any money on. So I'm just a little bit weary of it because the demand hasn't been like that high for the last one. The Blush is going for a little bit more money. You can make like $20, $30, $40 on that. I'm really only going for the rare sizes, which are going to be, for me at least, four and a half, six and a half seven and a half and at 14 and above which is like pretty much impossible to get but it's worth a shot especially with the raffles um adidas.com is going to sell out probably quick in those sizes but if you enter the raffles you can win so believe that is it i really hope that now that you watch this video you guys know exactly what you need to do and i really hope that you cop yeezys i'm not sure if i'm doing this yet but i'm thinking about doing an instagram live stream of the cop so if you're interested in that, follow us at Average Dude TV on Instagram. Maybe we'll do that, maybe not. If you want us to do it, comment though. And any other questions, comment. I'll answer right away. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I want you to cop. We need to cop these shoes, man. The Vaders, man. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I'm not sure if they're dropping on any of like the, the foot apps besides Adidas Confirmed. I'm not sure about like Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, any of those, Finish Line. Um, but again, if you want to know that information, follow us on Twitter because I'm going to be posting some of that stuff. And we'll catch you in the next one, fam. Let's get these Yeezys. Yeehoo!